open your browser and enter URL address on your search bar. Click enter and it will take you to this page. The current version of Cura at the time of recording is 4.7.1. So go ahead and click find previous versions. On this page, scroll down until you see 4.6.2 and click on that one. Scroll down and you see we have several different kind of installer. This is for Windows and since I'm going to use for Mac, I'm going to click this one. Once it finishes downloading, I'm going to double click to open the installer. Copy the app by dragging it to applications. Once the process is completed, go to Applications, find the Cura app, and click it. Confirm that you want to open it. On this page, click Add a non-network printer. Scroll down until you see Creality 3D and click it. On this version of Cura, you will not find CR6SE. Instead, we are going to use Ender 3. Click the Ender 3 and make sure the printer name is Creality Ender 3. And click Next. On the printer settings, make sure the X value is 235. If you see the X value is 220 and Y value is 220, you need to change both to 235 and make sure the Z value is 250 and then click next. On this page you can create an account, if not you can click finish. You'll see this screen every time you open the app. And because we are using the old version of Cura, it will prompt you to click download. But if you don't want to see this notification, go to preference and on general, scroll down and check, check for update on start. We are covering basic setup. It's a good idea to change basic settings. Change the currency to your local currency. Go to printers. Rename your local printers. Click rename. Change the name to CR-6SE. Next, go to materials. Change the filament cost value to how much you spend on one spool of filament. Change the filament weight value. Mine is 1 kilogram, so I will change it to 1000 gram. Changing these values will give you an idea how much it costs approximately to print an object. Last step, click on the top right. 
custom material in general when you print with PLA you want to leave it at 200 for printing temperature and 60 on build plate temperature 